Hey guys, welcome back to Field Trips. I am in Maryland right now, Ocean City, Maryland, a town I've absolutely fallen in love with. I'm here for the second annual Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam Tournament. All right, guys, it's official, second annual Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam. Scales are officially open. We already have some boats here. Yeah. And I'm here with my good buddy, Charles Breon. If you guys follow the show a couple years ago when I went through Jersey, we fished with Charles. He showed me around Cape May, New Jersey. I fell in love with that town, too. Jersey was a pleasant surprise, thanks to this guy. He came down for the tournament, and we're about to do a little pre-fishing go see what's out there. He's competing in it. I'm here to just help out and film it, but yeah. Let's turn him up. Yeah. We got some sand fleas. We'll show you the rig when we get out there. This is something I've never done before. We'll get into that here in a minute. But we're trying to beat the tide right now, so we got to get going and see out on the water. All right, so the tide's switching over and this inlet, some like standing rollers, some waves. A little squirrely. Yeah, look at that, bro. Definitely hug that right side. Oh, sick, dude. All right, guys, so for bait today, we got some intel that sand fleas are working pretty well right now. This little guy is a sand flea. You find these guys, they bury into the sand. You can actually harvest them. We could not find any live ones at the bait shops around here, so we've got frozen. But if these aren't working, we may beach our kayaks over here and see if we can't dig some up. Uh, there's certain ways you can get them with like suction. You can make PVC suction tubes to suck them out of the sand. But you can also just dig down and find them. We got wind that these are gonna be good bait. And so what I'm gonna do to kind of double my chances is use a little tandem rig. So I rigged this up this morning right before we launched. And basically at the bottom, I got a bottom sweeper jig. So if you saw my episodes when I met Charles in Jersey, I went out and fished with Insomniac guy, Dan Schaefer. He makes these bottom sweeper jigs and they're a great way to present, especially crustaceans. So little crabs, sand fleas, that sort of thing. It's got a nice rolling action. It falls nice. That I'm gonna use as my weight and have a sand flea on the bottom. And then up above it, I've just got a simple octopus hook. That's gonna let me have one presentation on the bottom. So there's black drum around here. They're typically feeding right on the bottom. And then I've got something a little higher up in case a striper swims by or a sheep's head or something else that's not hunting right on the bottom. You can see that hanging up about a foot and a half. So that's the idea. We're gonna put two sand fleas down and uh, see what happens. It's gonna be kind of hard to hold our position. We got strong current. We got some wind, but uh, we're basically fishing the outside of this jetty. It should work. And out here, we got a chance at striper, flounder, black drum. There's sheep's head around right now, and tautog are everywhere. And then after we get done fishing here today, if you guys stick around, you get to see kind of how these kayak tournaments go down. This one here, the Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam, is a blast. It's gonna be a good time. Stick around. Hopefully, we're about to get in some fish. We're fishing for anything that bites. See what happens. I think it's small stuff, but I mean, I'm getting robbed every drop. Might be something small, or maybe I'm just not detecting the bite. It's tough, there's current, there's swell, there's just a lot going on, there's wind. I can tell now I need to pay better attention because I'm not feeling anything, yet my baits are, are coming back one or two gone every few minutes. So I think there's definitely something down there picking at it. Well, there's something here. You just got robbed too? All right, all right. That tide's moving good now, man, it might be might be picking up. All right, Charles is on. Nice, dude, nice. Tug, nice one. Finally, a little action. Oh, yeah. There we go. About time. Great tog, man. We knew that this tide eventually, this current, would do what these fish been waiting for, and they'd start feeding, start cruising along these rocks. On that bottom sweeper. On that bottom sweeper jig. So these guys are out of season. Can't keep them, but cool catch nonetheless. So this is a tautog. It's a species of wrasse. They're actually, they're related to like California sheephead. So I'm pretty sure this is a male. That's a male? The spot in the white chin. Okay. So the males have that kind of spot usually in a white chin, huh? It's a 
a shame. They're good to eat, but they're not in season here right now, so don't let this one go. All right, well, hopefully that's the, the start of more to come. Yeehaw! Oh, God. Fish on, fish on. Came out here to the mouth of the inlet, throwing this bucktail jig with a gulp on it. Up in this messy water. Figure something had to be hunting in here. And it's kind of pulling me into the past. It's a little sketchy right now. I gotta get him out of here. I can't tell what it is. Oh, here it is. Looks like a bluefish. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> No. Oh, he spit it! <laughs> Bluefish! I figured with all this messy water, something had to be hunting in that. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was actually pretty sketchy, man. He was pulling me in there. That was exciting, bro. First cast. I mean, Charles just got that nice taw tog on the sand fleas, but I, I'm just getting robbed. I haven't hooked anything yet. Came up here to the end of the jetty, saw all this crazy turbulent water, and I threw this guy, a little butt tail jig with a curly tail gulp on there, and very first cast into that, jigging it back, popping it. I mean, it was like I was trying to catch Bonita in Panama. But that was a blast right there. Bluefish are a really fun fish. I first fished for them in Virginia Beach. They got really sharp teeth. Uh, but they're strong. That guy, guy, he was working me and he wasn't that big. Yeah, I still got these sand fleas soaking behind me. But I'm going to cast back up into that, see if there's not some more of them hunting in there. I'm really hoping there might be some rockfish, as they call them, some striper in there doing the same thing. All right, so same thing here. Charles just uh, got bit off first cast and he went back in there with another bucktail. Same thing I did. And he's on, he said it was a pretty good one. He's just dragging it out of the kind of the danger zone right now. Back there, where that boat's hanging out. He's kind of crazy, but he's got a motor. And uh, yeah, so we dialed in a pattern for the bluefish. Oh, he's got a close? Striper. Striper? That's a blue. Oh, blue, blue, okay. Woo -wee! going crazy. Yeah, that's a good time. Yeah, watch those teeth. These guys got razor blades for teeth. They'll take your finger off. Oh, yep, yep. That's not what you want. Whoop, whoop. Hot potato with razor sharp teeth. They're such fun fish, man. Yeah, until you get them in the boat. Yeah, until you get them in the boat, that's right. Nice work, man. They're fun, and in that current, man, the one I caught, I thought it was gonna be a monster, and then it, you know, it was solid. It was bigger than that. Yeah, so Rob English from Jersey, Charles' friend, who's one of our competitors this weekend. He makes these homemade bucktails, nice. Got it done. Yeah, but plastic chewed right off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not gonna get many tails back from these guys. That was fun, but I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, bluefish is enough for me, man. Yeah, all right. Thanks to Charles here for coming out. I was trying to find someone to fish with me here. He didn't really know the area that well. He's from up in Jersey, Cape May. But check this guy out, links down in the description to his Instagram, all that. He's on the Hobie team, very involved with Hobie. He runs the Duke of Fluke tournament up there. And so if you're in South Jersey, great event up there. It's Sterling Harbor. Uh, if you haven't seen those episodes, check them out. I'll pop a link up in the, I think it's the top right, left corner, I don't know, you'll see it. Link up there, some killer episodes. My first time in Jersey and Cape May with this guy. Charles Breon, thanks for the time, bud. That was a good time, bro. Yeah, man. He showed me how it was done. I didn't land anything, but I had a blast anyways, and he caught a couple nice fish, showed you guys what's down here. So good luck in the tournament this weekend, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. excited. Yeah, it's gonna good, be a good time. Good bunch of guys coming out. Yeah, I think we got 47 anglers, so. Big, big money on the line. Yeah, bro. Could be a $4,000 bluefish. Yeah, I mean, yeah, bluefish yeah. is in it, so. <laughs> now you got a little game plan, maybe. I don't know, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty worn out from today. It's a long weekend. <laughs> Could be a long weekend. It's hard work out here. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you back at Atlantic Tackle. Kick off this tournament. It's going to be a good time. All right, guys. Well, welcome 
to the second annual Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam Tournament hosted here in beautiful Ocean City, Maryland. This is a two-day event where kayak and paddleboard anglers alike from up and down the East Coast will duke it out for over $7,000 cash, as well as tons of prizes from fishing rods to tackle packs to brand new kayaks. Nice work, dude. So we're here right now in the middle of summer and Ocean City is bustling this time of year as this is a world-class vacation destination for anglers, families, and party goers alike. What's up girls? <laughs> Welcome to Ocean City. 4.05 pounds, it's a new tournament, heaviest bit. The event's hosted right here at Sunset Marina between legendary Atlantic Tackle and the Shark on the Harbor. All right guys, it's official, second annual. Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam scales are officially open. We already have some eligible fish. species for the event include flounder, bluefish, redfish, striper or rockfish, sheep's head, Spanish and king mackerel, speckled trout, cobia, black drum, and more. With big prizes awarded in the raffle, huge cash payouts for the top three, and tons of Calcuttas and daily prizes. Just about everyone will walk away a winner. There's even a junior division, so the kids can get in on the action too. Flounder. Yeah. Let's see what the competitors get into as they fish from any public launch anywhere in the county. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first fish coming to the scales by one of our junior anglers, Mr. Jonah Corey. Yeah. You want to talk about a little bit about today what you did? Um, I just. Where'd you catch? Well, you probably don't want to tell any secrets or where you caught it. So, but what? How, what, how about the sea conditions out there? Bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah. Adam, tell me a little bit about watching your son today. Man, it's it's just fun. Him and Riley, both you know, both two youth anglers that were together last night having a good time, and uh, those two kind of teamed up this morning, started it, you know, having a lot of chatty talk back and forth, and they were going piling and piling and working hard. There weren't much of a bite out there this morning. It got hot very quick, and the current was still ripping well after the, uh, what the tide called for. But those kids were having a ball, man. They really were. And he was super excited when he got that croaker because he knew it meant something. So that was cool to watch that. Awesome, guys. Yeah, well, let's check it out. We uh, we officially measured it. 0.45 pounds for the first croaker. 0.45 pounds. Nice, bro. Let's get over there. Get Jonah, nice work, good. man. Second fish in the scales. Nice little summer flounder. Nice work, man. Hey, thank you. What's your name? Eric Crush from uh, Limerick, Pennsylvania. Eric Crush, you're from Pennsylvania. Made the trip, and he's still got time to fish. He just came in to bring this fish grab to us, to grab a little bite to eat, and he's gonna head back out. He's still got some time. 1.70 pounds by Waymaster Tim. Tell us a little bit about what's going on today. Well, I was a big surprise, but saw was 16 and a half. I figured, let's bring him back and let's get a weight on him. So, they're all happy. I'm getting ready to go back out. Just got some food in myself. And, uh, Hopefully give it a go this afternoon and get something else for you guys away. Nice. Sounds great, Eric. Thanks so much, man. Let's get some scale. Oh, we're gonna get some pictures here for you. What's up, bro? What'd you get? It's a spot. Nice. The rope might not fit through it. <laughs> Our second youth anger, we have a new NRS youth division. So they're battling it out for an NRS star ki kayak slash paddleboard. It's pretty awesome. 0. 0.20 by Wayne Master Tim. 0. 0.20 pounds for Riley. There you go, buddy. Get up there, buddy. <laughs> nice work. Pretty work. Third fish to the scale. And that fish is third place fish. Yeah. Thousand dollar fish right now, buddy. Thousand dollar fish worth a thousand dollars right now, Victoria. Woo Riley, tell us a little bit about fishing this morning. How was it out there? It was pretty good fishing <coughs> a couple of times. Like under the bridge, it got pretty rough, but nothing else. Pretty good. Good deal, buddy. You didn't naturally talking up in front of the camera. This is your second year up here, isn't it? You yeah. champ. Yep. Point two pounds. I think that ties Riley actually. Yeah. Yep, yep. Fish. No. That's our first sheep set of the turn of the tournament in the last two years. So. Pounds on the sheep set. That is a first place fish. Nick is sitting with six thousand dollars on the kayak fishing tournament, fishing paddle saltwater slam right now. Guys, welcome to day two of the fishing paddle saltwater slam. This is our second annual tournament. We had. 47 boats fish, which is a new tournament record. We have a purse of over $7,000. We have, you know, NRS Lightning Kayaks are our presenting sponsors. They're both giving kayaks. Hook Performance Fishing, Captain Morgan's a sponsor. 
Bank of Ocean City, you know, Loft at the Ocean City's been a sponsor. It's been great. So Robert Field, he's here with us today. Thank you for flying in and covering this for us. Pleasure to be here, man. Yep. So uh, we're going to get started off, kick off the scales here. We have Rob English from New Jersey. Well, with a big boy. Drum, so. All right, Rob English here's got what looks like the biggest fish that's ever been weighed in in the Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam here year two. Look at this guy. Big old black drum, big ugly. And it's like extra ugly, man. Look at that thing. Living in the rocks for a while. Ooh -wee. On a sand flea on the bottom sweeper jig. Two day, old, two day old dead sand flea. Two day old dead sand flea. Like the goat, I mean textbook bait, I'd say. Man, it's a stud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been waiting for someone to bring one of these in. 28 inches. 13.8. 13.8 pound drum. New tournament record at the Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam. Biggest fish ever weighed in here in year two. It's a $4,000 fish. $4,000 fish right now. Plus, I mean, more than that, I think. Yeah, kayak. Cup, yeah. Six grand, really, almost, with the kayak, right? Man. It's 1800 that might be the most yeah. valuable black drum right, guys, that's ever ever been caught. Ever been caught. <laughs> New tournament record fish, first place heaviest fish, and also first place stringer as of right now. He's getting ready to go back out for some more. Yeah, he ain't done. All right, guys, so weigh-ins commenced here on day two of the second annual Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam. We got fish already coming to the scales. Basically, the scales are open from 12 to 4, and so a few guys came in, Rob English, with a massive black drum, good for first place right now, as of yesterday. Now, there's several guys that are out there that, that may have that beat, we'll see. And then uh, some bluefish coming in, all kinds of stuff, but still, it's anybody's game. I mean, there's giant black drum out here, there's Kobe out here, heavy sheep's head, there's a lot of fish that one or two bites could really put you in here and, and be $4,000 bites. So we'll see what happens, but those guys all dropped off their fish and went back out fishing. You can fish right here where we do the, do the weigh-in. You can also trailer and go anywhere in the county to fish. But yeah, lots of fish coming in. That was a new tournament record Rob Eaglins just got. So we'll see what happens, but it's still very much anybody's game. Someone gets on a hot bite, 30 minutes later, they could be $4,000 richer. We'll see what happens. So there's a bunch of different divisions in this thing. Heaviest flounder being one of them. John Sackhouse right now, he's hoping to edge out the current biggest flounder for day two. Uh, looks like he's gonna do it. Morgan Merkel is at the scales again with three nice bluefish. So, so he's trying to cull right now. 3.9. That's gonna add to Morgan Stringer. Rocking the Yakfish oh, shirt, yeah, my man. <laughs> I like it, I like it. This is my uh, good luck fish shirt. Tell us a little bit about your trout, man. First trout of the tournament. Dude, yeah. tell me that again. You have, What happened? I had this trout on a stringer, and I hear splashing behind me. I look back, and a shark is chasing my <laughs> trout on the stringer. Oh my God. There's so. some big bull sharks down there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After that, I caught a couple more blues, and I kind of had to pick and choose which ones I wanted to keep. Nice work, man. Dinner and some uh, points in the tournament, huh? 2.15. 2.15 for Willie. Yeah. Lynette, you the real MVP. I'll sell over you with some real estate. <laughs> no DJ Wax. Well, they're not from yeah. here. Everybody's Living under here. a rock. Yeah. Even I know about DJ Wax. And I'd like to thank my wife here for oh, no, I just, said, oh, for just you know putting up with all my fishing mess. Putting up with me and Robert last year going to Secrets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Jody, come over here. Yeah. Get out there, Jody. Robert and I did an episode. It's kind of the first food episode you ever did. Pretty I much. Think. Yep. We yep. had never met before, by the way. Yep, it was a blind date. Blind date. Came over. I was like, let's just go to Shark. I had it all played out to call, talk to Jody ahead of time and said, hey, we're going to come up here, paddle up. And she got on the camera and she was so embarrassed. She probably still hasn't watched it. So. I haven't watched it. You were, you're a, you're a natural. You were yeah, so she was good. So natural. Yeah. Because no one, when you talk to me in advance, we didn't discuss camera. Or, Cameos. You know, we just get, we're coming for lunch. I said fantastic. We ate shark. Thresher. We had thresher shark. Fresh thresher came in. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant also while you're here. Cause yeah. The shark on the harbor. We've been in business for 20 years. We moved over here 10 years ago. And we like to support and do our very best to support local vendors, farmers, 
um, fishermen. We even have local beef, well, Maryland beef. So we try to source locally, sustainably, and organically when possible. And we change our menu daily based on what we have available to us. And she gets a lot of fish right next door. Yeah. To Seaborn. Round of applause for Jody, please. And it's shark on the harbor. Oh, you got the flounder dialed today, huh? Personal best for myself. I mean, he's ready for a cocktail out there. Stud, man. First keeper of rockfish of the tournament, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, plot thickens. Rob English has been sitting comfortably with his 13.8 pound drum. We got Doug here, just brought in the first keeper striper of the tournament and two blues. He might edge him out here. What'd you get it on? Sam. Sam. Combo. Man. This is coming down to the wire. It's kind of cool, man. First place leader, I should say. Good deal. Nice work, man. Good to have it. Last minute, little drama at the end there. I like it, dude. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys, the last fish have hit the scales. Scales are officially closed here on day two of the second annual Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam. Such a good time. Everyone's out here having a good time, drinking, having fun, getting some eats here at the Shark. Brian and Lynette and the wonderful ladies helping with the tournament are tallying the results right now. We're about to find out who's going home. $4,000, $2,000, and $1,000 richer. Got a ton of side pots, prizes, giveaway. It's about to get fun, y'all. We'll see what happens. Jonah Corey with his 0.45 pound Woo! croaker Woo! Woo! wins the junior angler. All right, Morgan. Third place. This is uh, this is for Grandma. My Grandma passed away March uh, May 30th, so uh, this is uh, this is for Grandma, man. All right, so second place from New Jersey, Mr. Robert English. Oh yeah. 13.8 pound stringer. Biggest fish in tournament fish. history. Biggest fish in tournament history, man. <laughs> All right. Drum roll. Drum roll today. <laughs> Local Doug Grinder. Come on up, man. Yeah. Record-breaking first ever striper, which is a hard accomplishment because it's of the slot. It's just in the slot. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Pretty work, man. Let's give a round of applause. On top of that, he had two nice blue fish to add it to his trigger weight. Yeah. And shout out to Doug's daughter Quinn, she's five years old. She watches the show with she her does. dad. He gets her to watch some fishing. So, your dad's a rock star. He's a champion. Oh. Do what he says. Do what he says. The second annual Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam champion, Doug Griner. Nice. $4,000. What'd you think about your first kite tournament? I experienced. I thought it was great. Yeah, it was great. For you, this yeah. is your first time. Yeah, here. I love it. It's awesome. It's I love seeing all these good people out here. So it's a good it's group. Fun. The best thing she said was the energy. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. yeah. Good group good of people. Good vibes only. Helping each other out yeah. and probably just that's. Been fun. And I want to thank her for coming out and fishing with the boys. Yay! Yeah, yeah. representing. Yeah. Ashley's from Greenbackville, Virginia. Good vibes, good people. Some good fish came to the scales. All this COVID stuff, and despite that, it's just been an incredible event. Nice, bud. That's bigger than the fish I caught today. Good job. Yeah, Bubba, you beat Robert Field today, bud. That's it. Shannon put me in touch with Robert. She's been out scalping. She's hardcore, dude. She's <laughs> got gotcha, Yeah, gotcha. she's the one that first, yeah. when I came to Ocean City, she said, meet up with my buddy Brian, and I was like, oh, she's pawning me off on some guy. And then I was like, who's this guy? He's become my dear friend, and here I am, third year in a row. I keep coming back. That's Thank awesome. you for yes, that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad I've, to finally meet you. I've fallen in love good, with this good, place. Good, yeah. good. We'll get, we'll get, we got to go fishing sometime. I know. This guy, like, I'm jealous. I used to fish a lot. Kids. <laughs> I still, my, according to my wife, I still fish a lot. But oh, yeah. look at Lila rolling her eyes. She's like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my daughter Lila. Yeah, it's all good. You're in the doghouse now. Yeah, yeah man. Man.